contest for Toronto's top dog. And Trisha is one of our <laughs> judges who has been with us from the very start. Hi. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to all of a sudden pop on the screen. <laughs> Here But, I am. Yeah, Hello. It's like, let's go back to our previous live like we were all good on Facebook apart from the goddamn technology. <laughs> I just happened to open Instagram and see you so I thought I'm going to pop on and see and then I thought why not Tr jump in. Yeah, so Trisha, you're going to be responsible for the part of judging the dogs on their pictures. So, yes. How the guys why they shouldn't choose just an any L picture from their phone of their dog and why they should put some effort in and what would be a good picture to you? Well, honestly, the best picture show your dog's personality because I don't get to see your dog on the catwalk. I don't get to see him all dressed up and fancy. So the better your picture is, the more your picture shows off who your dog is and why they should be Toronto's top dog. So it's super helpful if you have a nice, clear, crisp image. And yeah, show, take a picture, find the best picture you can. It's always hard. That really shows off who your dog is, what your dog loves. And um, yeah. Yeah, because that's what, sometimes people might just take certain kinds of pictures, but I always love the one where you can just look at the dog and you kind of know their personality just by their picture and you're like, I want to meet that dog. Yeah, 100%. And that's exactly what you want because I don't get to know, I don't get to talk to the dog. I don't get to pet the dog. I don't get to see how awesome the dog is. I get to see a picture. And so if it's more than just a dog, like as opposed to, you know, that, Sears photo shoot where you're sitting perfectly in that nice pose, you yeah. know, as opposed to the joy that you see in your dog's face when they're out at the beach or they're, mm. I don't know, whatever it is they love to do, right? Maybe they're snuggled up in their bed and they're super cute. That's the best um, mm. picture from my perspective. You, you hit the nail on the head there. And that's what I think even when we're talking to Katie, like when she talks about like the pictures that, we, that she uses to paint the dog is their personality. Yeah, we can have our dog just sitting pretty there, but happiness of my dog and seeing our personality would be just seeing her at the beach. She has a ball in her mouth, like she's having the time of her life. So guys, listen to what the judge is telling you. <laughs> You'd be crazy to go and submit just a picture of, oh my, there's my dog sitting at a white background. She wants to see your dog's personality. So in order to get through to the top 28, you need to get a good percentage 30% of your dog score is going to be coming from Trisha, who is going to be judging your dog's photo. So she's given you so many tips there on what you can actually expect in order to get to, to the final. Because as she says, like Susanna has the opportunity to see your dog. She has the opportunity to meet your dog. She knows your personality. Whereas this is kind of like online dating here for Trisha. She's like, <laughs> is she going to swipe left or is she going to swipe right when she sees your dog? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's too funny. I'm an online dating judge for dogs. <laughs> you need to add that to your bio right now. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> oh, Trisha, you thought you were just going to be a judge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, too funny. So before you go, I want to... I I want you to tell the guys what they can actually win because you're not just a judge. You're going to be given prizes for Toronto's Top Dog. And what is it? Uh, my company is Jasper Swag Dog Walking Bags, and Toronto's top dog wins a dog walking bag, and that is a bag specifically designed for walking your dog. So I will, I don't have it right in front of me. I wasn't expecting to get on. Just a sec. Let me walk across the room and find oh, it. No, this, this, is, this is like me earlier on when I was like with the technology. I'm just surprising you now. <laughs> I know. So here it is. Try to get it in the screen there. So this one is currently loaded up. It's got a water bottle pocket, water bottle in the water bottle pocket. Show you the other side. It's got tennis ball and ball launcher. You've got a treat pocket right there. And inside there is a spot for your phone. On the back are all the straps. But you've also got, that you can't see, hang on, a built-in poop bag dispenser and... So yeah, it's a weatherproof bag, so it's designed to go with you wherever you go and keep your gear dry, and uh, super little bag, not super huge, so you can't carry too much, so it doesn't kill your shoulder, but just enough when you head out on the trail. Yeah, no, definitely is, guys. So if you want to head over to our Facebook page, we just did a live, and you can absolutely see everything that's in that bag, and it, there's a lot, there's a lot, like, yeah. Like, 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And our Instagram page, Jasper Swag Bag, has lots of information, lots of testimonials, so you can get lots of sense of what people think about the bag. And a lot of people, and I'm not even saying this because it's my company, they say, once you go Jasper Swag, you don't go back. <laughs> yeah, you do. And I didn't make that up. <laughs> I didn't make that up. That came from all of my super fabulous Instagram followers. And um, yeah, truly. Absolutely amazing, Tricia. So it's at Jasper Swag on Instagram. Is where can people follow you? Uh, Jasper, Jasper, I'm, no, I'm questioning myself. <laughs> I think it's Jasper Swag Bag. I never look at my own address. <laughs> Jasper Swag Bag. Yes. Awesome, guys. So go follow Tricia and even to go see her pup. Go see how she actually posts pu pictures of her own pup that shows off his personality. So it'll give you a little hint of. And maybe if you have a doodle, you might have a slight edge, but I'm, I'm sure as a judge, she's going to stay impartial. <laughs> Certainly try, definitely try, but yeah. <laughs> knowledge is power, <laughs> knowledge is power. So if they go check it out, they might get a few more points on their score. So guys, head over to Toronto Top Dog and enter your dog right now. So Trisha, thank you so much. And we'll get your swipe left, swipe right file ready for you on March 25th or so when all the dogs hey. get their entries in. Super. Sounds good. Thanks so much. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. You too. Bye. So guys, Toronto's Top Dog 2019 is live. Go to torontotopdog.com. Get your entries in. It is going to be a huge year. You